Let us come before God in prayer. Lord, as we look around, we see the magnitude of your creating power in every direction. We marvel at the wonders of your creation, at every turn, every petal of every flower, every blade of grass, every huge tree that grows is in your care. And yet each grows as planned in time and space, in colour and in season. And yet nothing is beyond your care. Loving Lord, we praise you because you are bigger than anything we know, greater than all comprehension. And yet you are interested in the smallest detail, the tiniest part of our life. You're never too busy to listen to even the most trivial of our thoughts. You're never too busy to hear us whenever we talk to you. So we praise you for your magnitude, the towering mountains and lofty trees, the roaring thunder and the mighty rolling seas. And we thank you that in your power we find peace, the knowledge that you control the storms and yet never fail to keep us safe. When we come to you in the quiet of the night, the silence of the hillside, we marvel at the strength we can find in silence. And we're reminded that you always hear us in the busyness and in the stillness. The times when we need to be quiet and need reassurance, as well in the hustle, bustle and busyness amid the crowded noise. Lord, we know that you will never fail us. For even when our faith falters or the seas of life get rough, we can still rely on you and put our trust in you. We can always be secure in the knowledge that you will forgive our failing, that you will forgive our stumbling and you will raise us up with encouragement and challenge until we reach a new calmness and stillness. Forgive us when we fail to listen, still our hearts and minds, that we can hear your still small voice, so that we can be open to new challenges and new opportunities to serve in your community. Help us to see the bigger picture that you are controlling Help us to be ready to move forward in different, unexpected directions. Excited, enthused at new ways of sharing your love with the people that we meet. And in doing so, we know that more people will come to know of you and of your love through us. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from the book of Job, chapter 38 and the first 11 verses taken from the message. God answered Job from the eye of a violent storm and he said, why do you confuse the issue? Why do you talk without knowing what you're talking about? Pull yourself together, Job. Get up on your feet. Stand tall. I have some questions for you. And I want some straight answers. Where were you when I created the earth? Tell me since you know so much. Who decided on its size? Certainly you will know that. Who came up with the blueprints and the measurements? How was its foundation poured? And who set the cornerstone while the morning stars sang in chorus? And all the angels shouted praise. Who took charge of the ocean when it gushed forth like a baby from the womb? That was me. I wrapped it in soft clouds and tucked it in safely at night. Then I made a playpen for it, a strong playpen so it couldn't run loose. And I said, stay here. This is your place. Amen. 